Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? It's Eli5 back at y'all guys with another video. But before we start the video, I just have a quick question to ask you guys. What do you guys think about the Giannis and James Harden beef? Who do you guys think is the better player? I feel like it's an obvious answer, but you know, people have different opinions and I'm interested as to what you guys think. Other than that, let us start today's video. In today's video, we will be discussing about what James Harden had to say about himself and reigning MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo. I know that I am a bit late with this topic because this topic came up almost a week ago. A lot of things came up during my personal life and I simply didn't have enough time to post this video earlier. But I don't think that it should matter all that much to you guys. Now, as you guys should know, James Harden just revealed to us as who he thinks the best player in the league is as of today. And of course, he said himself. He stated the fact that him getting double team every single possession makes him the best player in the league. But I'm going to keep it 100. In my opinion, James Harden isn't the best player in the league. Don't get me wrong, he has a great basketball game, but he has too many flaws for him to be considered the best player in the league as of today. James Harden is known for going on his scoring rampages. He's been averaging over 30 points since last season and he's averaging that same amount of points this season. But this season, I feel as though he isn't playing as good as he's supposed to be. For a couple months now, it is clear that Russell Westbrook is having a way better season than James Harden this year. James Harden this year is averaging over 30 points as said already, but he isn't shooting efficiently at all. There were a lot of games where he shot over 10 three-pointers and he only made like 3 or 4 of them. Of course you're going to average 30 points per game if you take all the shots the majority of the time. Who wouldn't? And to add on, how is he going to say that he is the best player in the league when he's playing like the second option on the team he's playing on right now? Westbrook is the main reason why the Rockets have been winning basketball games. Take Westbrook off the floor and I guarantee you that the Rockets wouldn't have won as many games as they won in the month of February. Westbrook has been playing out of his mind this year. Throughout the month of February, he savaged over 30 points on efficient shooting. James Harden is sometimes the reason why the Rockets lose some games down the wire as well with his poor decision making. And him being double teamed every single possession isn't a valid argument. Just because you are getting double teamed doesn't mean that you are the best. If that's the case, then Stephen Curry would have been called the best player of all time a long time ago. Him being double teamed is simply a strategy. Obviously, if Westbrook is on the floor, it makes sense to double team James Harden when he is bringing the ball up the court. Westbrook clearly isn't a three point shooter, so the player that guards Westbrook would just leave Westbrook wide open from three to go double Harden. If Westbrook makes the shot, you can live with him shooting three pointers since he isn't likely to hit the three in the long run. And if Westbrook gets the ball and drives in, there will be somebody in the paint to contest. Not always, but most of the time. This prevents James Harden from having the ball in his hands long enough to get hot to take over games. This forces him to pass to guys like Ben McLemore and Robert Carverton, who will always have a man on them because they are three-point shooters. And then the player that went to double harder will simply just get back on Westbrook. You guys should get the gist as to what I'm saying. To me, I think this strategy is working out big time for every team in the league. Long story short, him saying that him being double teamed every single game makes him the best player in the league right now is utterly foolish. It's simply a strategy that will make teams easier to guard the Houston Rockets. Everybody gets doubled in the NBA. It's just that team strategizes to double team James Harden every single game in order to win basketball games against the Houston Rockets like a normal team should do. You play the game of basketball to do whatever it takes in order to win games. You're not supposed to let a player take over games every single night whenever he wants when there's clearly a way to stop it. And you can't be considered the best player in the league when he goes missing almost every year come playoff time. The greatest will never ever go missing in the playoffs. Why do you think LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, etc. are considered the top 5 best players of all time? The regular season doesn't mean anything. It all matters in the playoffs at the end of the day. Now, let's get into the beef between James Harden and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it beef because Giannis doesn't even care about what Harden had to say about his basketball game. Basically, Harden took a shot at Giannis saying how his game requires no skill because he's tall and he can dunk. That is not true at all. He's right about Giannis being tall and being able to dunk, but that doesn't mean that Giannis has no skill to the game of basketball. Giannis has great footwork. He's able to create many opportunities in order to get to the paint by creating his own lane to get to the basket when there isn't one wide open. 
If a player is guarding the paint, Giannis has the ability to use his footwork to fake out the defender in order to get a high percentage layup or dunk. Having great footwork takes skill and that's what Giannis has. Another thing that you have to keep in mind about Giannis is that he is obviously shooting better from 3 in comparison to the previous years. Giannis hasn't been a good 3 point shooter ever since he has entered the league, but now he is capable of drawing defenders to him at the 3 point line. From the years 2014 to 2019, his 3 point percentage was god awful. Although 2014 was his best year shooting from 3 statistics wise, you have to keep in mind that he hasn't been attempting as many 3's back at that time, so of course his percentage will be higher. Today he is shooting 31% from 3 and he has been attempting a lot of 3 pointers at the same time. For Giannis, that is a great percentage because comparing his previous years, he obviously wasn't shooting as many 3 pointers and making a lot of them. This is his first actual year that he's actually adding the 3 point shot to his game and making 3's at a consistent rate while taking a decent amount per game. Taking all of this information into consideration, it is completely foolish for James Harden to say what he said about Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis isn't the reigning MVP for no reason. He is the first option on a team with 9 losses in March. Being the first option on a team with that many losses this late into the season takes a lot of skill. Harden is right about Giannis's game mainly being him driving and dunking, but he isn't talking about the amazing footwork that Giannis possesses and his improvement from behind the arc. And if he knows what Giannis's game consists of, then why isn't any team coming up with a game plan to slow him down? Because he is skilled enough to get into the paint 85% of the time and he is able to use his size to his advantage. There are a lot of players in the league that are tall and is able to dunk in the NBA, but some of those players players aren't skilled enough to use their size to their advantage. And if James Harden is saying that about Giannis, then you might as well say the same to Shaquille O'Neal, Wilt Chamberlain, and more of the all-time great big men. The moral of the story is that James Harden is completely wrong with everything that he said in that interview if it wasn't an opinion. Stating that Harden is the best player in the league is an opinion, and there is no right or wrong answer to that statement if it's an opinion. But we really don't know if James Harden was stating his opinion or if he really thinks that during that interview. But in my opinion, he really isn't the best player in the league. He is still a great player, don't get me wrong, and probably one of the best shooting guards of all time when it's all said and done, but he isn't close to being the best in the league right now at all. And him saying that Giannis has no skill is completely wrong, and that is not an opinion at all. Giannis wasn't always this good coming into the league. Him taking the time out to practice and gain muscle weight to improve his game is hard work and dedication. He is skillful enough to take his game to the next level in order to be an MVP conversation for two years straight. But what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with everything that I've said or do you guys have something to argue about? I feel as though everything I've talked about in this video is able to be related to what a lot of other fans think as well. But there will always be some fans that will disagree in some way. James Harden is a great player, don't get me wrong, but he can't say that Giannis' game doesn't take any skill. Meanwhile, he is leading his team to the best record in the league for two years straight and that he is shooting way better from behind the arc this year rather than years prior. But other than that, that will conclude today's video. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm out. Peace.